guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I'm going to show you some shots that pool players do not like to shoot, but they will always come up in game, so you need to know them. So we're going to go ahead, get right into it with this shot right here. Very tough shot. Three ball on the rail, cutting it down there, cue ball like this. Now this is a hard shot because you're trying to avoid that point, so you got to cut it to the right, but if you cut it too far to the right, that happens. Uh, by avoiding the point, I mean this point on this side pocket right here. So this is a really a shot. There's no real trick to it, but all you got to do is just set it up over and over again and practice it. Like, you got to start with the cue ball close to the rail. You see right there, that ball hit the point, and that's why it went so off, so far off. So you have to be very, very exact with this shot. So, see if we can make it. Just like that. So I always try to overcut it just a little bit just to be safe about this point. Because if I hit this point, no way it's ever going in. Uh, but you see how I tried to overcut it just a little bit and how I made it into the right side of that pocket. So you're just gonna have to shoot it over and over again. And once you get to angles like this, it's very, very, very difficult. This is an extremely difficult shot that most professionals only make a couple times out of 10. See, it's just so hard to hit it perfect to cut it to the right without hitting that point. Uh, so this one, you're just going to have to set this up, shoot it tons and tons of times. On a 9 foot diamond table, this shot is extremely hard. I'm just going to give it to you like that. There's no way to avoid this shot and it will always come up and it's always going to be hard. So if you can avoid playing position for a shot like this, Especially if you're using draw, it's hard. With backspin, it's way harder. You're always pretty much going to overcut it. Uh, so this shot right here, you're just going to have to set it up, shoot it in every single way. Start off with the easier style. Maybe start off like this and then gradually move that cue ball and gradually move this ball closer to this pocket. So the shot, very difficult. Just set it up, shoot it over and over and over again until you're good at it. The next shot is any kind of bank shot. Pool players do not want to shoot. Uh, unless it's absolutely dead straight on, there's always that chance that you can just slightly mess it up. So this usually happens towards uh, when the angle is wider and it's towards this corner pocket. Usually, we just screw up and miss it. It's just that simple. So again, it's a matter of practicing it, but it's also a matter of knowing what happens to this ball when it hits the rail, because there's a lot that happens and a lot that can affect it. So I'm just going to run through real quick, because if you're brand new to the videos, you haven't seen this, but if you've been a subscriber since like a thousand subscribers, you've seen this a lot. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep it quick and concise. So the faster you hit the ball, the shorter it is going to come. So, see, comes short. But if I set it up pretty much the same angle, and I hit it slower, the wider it goes. So we get closer to that pocket. Now whatever spin is on the cue ball, the opposite spin is on this ball. So if I put less spin on this cue ball, it's going towards this direction. However, if I hit with right spin on my cue ball, it comes back and hits the cue ball in the face it was heading for here. Now, those two things combined multiplies, or it cancels out. So if I have left spin bringing the ball to the right, but also shooting it slow, those two things combine, and we can actually make the shot from that angle. But if we shoot with right spin, bring it more here and fast, this ball comes back in this direction. So, you got to know this. 
Uh, and it's just a matter of practicing with every single thing. I generally use the spin that brings it towards the pocket more. That's just me. Uh, you can use each one for position. So let's say on this shot you want to bank it here, uh, but you don't want your cue ball running all over the table. You can shoot it with that spin and it won't run around the table. Just I never shoot it like that, so it's hard for me to try to make the ball because you got to overcut it. Uh, but just simple little rules like that can make it very, very hard uh, to make a bank shot. Uh, so you got to know that. Okay, so this next shot is a little kick shot. Uh, it is pretty simple. It is rather than going like that, which is the correct shot in this case. You should do that uh, if you're ever in this situation. But I'm just here to introduce you to new shots that you might not be familiar with. Uh, that maybe you end up in a situation where you can't do that shot, but you can do this one. Uh, so this one right here, just letting you know the concept, it's off two rails with reverse spin. So the cue ball heads back towards the six ball's direction. So, looks something like that. It just comes back towards this general direction. Uh, it is tough to control to actually make this ball. After a lot of practice, I'm pretty sure you can have it down pretty easily. Uh, just remember the rules that I told you earlier about bank shots. They apply here as well. You see the further inside I hit it, uh, the more towards this rail it's going to come. It's a tough little shot. Uh, the shallower you are towards the rail, the easier it is. But it is a tough shot, but it should end up looking like this. Just like that. Uh, and then if you get positioned like that, it's fine. Obviously, go for the one rail kick in this case. It's very, very simple. Uh, one or two rails, but no side spin needed. But if you ever needed to pull off a shot like that, maybe you were hooked and you just need to hit a ball, you that may come in handy. I'm just here to introduce you to new little concepts that you might not be familiar with. That little two row reverse right there. Tough shot, uh, but there it is. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below. If you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you can click the subscribe button, then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. Uh, thank you guys again for 80,000 subscribers. I'm going to say 81,000, probably 81,000 by the time I upload this video. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned in for my live streams. I do not leave them up on the channel, so you cannot find them after I end the live stream. Uh, so if you turn on, if you subscribe and turn on those notifications, you can watch me play uh, live. Uh, and see it. That's a little kick shot right there. But again, it does not go up on the channel, so you have to subscribe and hit that bell icon if you want to uh, see all the live streams. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below uh, what you liked about this video, maybe what you didn't like about this video. What do you want to see next? I uh, use suggestions all the time. Uh, so if you want your suggestion to be in the next video, comment down below what you want me to do. Uh, share the channel with your friends. Click that copy link button, click the share button, uh, share it on Facebook, share it with everybody. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by April. Uh, it's a tough goal, but I think we're on track to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.